what's up guys and welcome back in today's video I want to talk about uh, base design layout uh, I have some member of my uh, in my guild that has uh, pirate hall level 4 5 6 7 8 um, and also 9 so uh, we have a pretty good range of uh, different pirate hall level and uh, in today's video I want to uh, maybe discuss and talk about uh, Part Hall level 4, 5 and 6. Let's start with uh, those level. Um, and yeah, I noticed that uh, Nico game 6 here is a uh, part Hall level 4. So let's uh, take a look of uh, his base. And uh, first, there's no perfect base layout. So it's, but there's a wrong way to design uh, or place your defense around uh, your uh, base um, so I'm not saying that the, 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 the way I'm uh, designing my base is the perfect way but I think there's some basic rule that uh, we have to uh, um, follow uh, at least to optimize our chance to uh, have a good defense so first when you are pirate hall level uh, four uh, i think you 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 can have only one mortar so uh here on his base he has a mortar level four uh, that's pretty good and uh, you can also have a legendary for it that's pretty awesome but the first uh, thing i would uh, suggest on his base uh, is maybe to I like the way he, did, he, he put the, the cannons around the pirate hall uh, I think it's good when you want to uh, raise in the, in the ranking that's a that may be a, a good way but when you are a low level pirate hall um, and even me I tend to put my pirate hall outside the walls and uh, maybe centralize uh, the mortar uh, in the middle of my base and uh, protect protect my uh, storage so the way he designed his base um, I would suggest just to put his grog storage uh, more in the middle of his base and put some defense as he is actually trying put his defense around the building and also I bring this mortar in the middle so that way it will be you will be able to protect a little bit more is uh, uh, storage so that's the first uh, thing when you design your base your focus is to protect the loot because uh, if you want to upgrade obviously you need those resource um, other than that, he's doing a pretty good job of upgrading um, all his defense, not focusing on only what kind, one kind of defense. Uh, that's pretty good. I would even uh, turn this bunker the other way um, because if you come, if someone come with uh, deploy his troop on the side, you take the grog, you take the bunker, the mortar is doing nothing and uh, yeah also i will uh, turn the guild ship because you can attack the guild ship by just deploying a troop right here in the corner and uh, no defense yeah, same thing with uh, i would say it's more about the uh, the ship you can deploy some troop in the corner and the ship won't uh, attack you uh, so yeah other than that, he's doing a pretty good job of uh, upgrading all his um, defense evenly. Uh, so, um, yeah, so let's go to uh, a level four. Level four, I think uh, Timo is a level four. Uh, excuse me, five. Level five part hall. So, okay. 
right now all his storage is a uh, place pretty much at the same in the same cluster but there's a mortar in the middle that that's first of all that's a good way to uh, protect your your loot because when you are uh, a low level pirate hall people will raid you with buccaneers and also with uh gunners so that's pretty well done here maybe you could create some cluster with the walls and put uh, the gold mine outside the wall but we never know if if Timo is not uh, um, not always online, he probably want to protect uh, the loot generated by the gold mine. I don't know, but personally, I would put my uh, gold mine outside the walls, and that would give me uh, some wall to create cluster uh, in the middle, and maybe bring the mortar here closer to the other one that that could be a, an option but uh, I like the way at least he's protecting his mortar by with by using other building and uh, probably I would bring maybe a cannon closer here instead of uh, this grog storage uh, this grog distillery just to if someone deploy troops here uh, you won't be able to uh, attack too easily the mortar because when you defeat those two buildings and maybe with this grog distillery you have access to the mortar so um, so yeah that could be an option uh, bring some defense or even a, a gun tower also I would uh, maybe turn the ship and bring the ship uh, over here but you will have to uh, uh, take uh, just take care of those uh, rocky rocky and yeah rocky crop out crop and uh, yeah because it's a defense by itself and yeah that could uh, protect a little bit more other than that, maybe uh, upgrading the lighthouse um, and uh, also the guild hall to uh, be able to have a pirate catcher and um, the other perks. And when you upgrade your guild hall, it um, brings some um, um, some new perks. I know that at Pirate uh, Guild Hall 1, you have the Blacksmith, but there's other great perks uh, available when you upgrade the Guild Hall, so I would go for that and continue to upgrade the Gold uh, Mine and Grog Distillery. But uh, yeah, good uh, good start from uh, Timo. Okay, so base uh, designed for uh, another five let's say we're gonna see if there's another five stigel burger that's a pretty well upgraded pirate hall five and uh i like the way he designed his base is this that this is that kind of base is exactly what uh i like mortar centralized um place at different angle bunker protecting in some ways the mortar also with uh, the gun tower the more yeah so alternating cannon gun tower cannon uh, another cannon cannon gun tower uh, cannon that's a pretty good design put the dock of your ship on the shore uh, and not the other way so this way it's pretty tough to uh, um, take care of uh, the ship and attack the ship same thing with the gill same thing with the legendary 4 I would say that's a, a pretty pretty good base design I like it a lot uh, resource uh, mine are uh, uh, you have a gold mine a grog disagree so that's well done uh, you alternate your uh, 
X uh, mines and grog distillery. This way, if someone wants one resource specifically, he has to raid all the village. So, yeah, that's a pretty good. That could be a, an example of a pretty well designed uh, pirate hall level five. Good job, still still burger. And um, what else? There's another. There's a level six. I want to. Oh, let's see, Peter uh, lost lost T. Sorry, I just promote him. <laughs> oh, where are you, man? Uh, right here. Visit. Okay. Pirate Hall level 6. That's a good base design as well. I like it. Mortar at different angle. Bunker protecting the other side. So if you want to raid this mortar, you have to go by this gate. That's a pretty good idea. Um... Yeah, Pirate Hall put outside. In some ways, those buildings are protecting this mortar. And this flame gate and some of the bomb here are protecting the mortar with this uh, layer of walls. So, those two mortars are protected. It's pretty good. And uh, all the defense in the core to protect, as I said, all the gold storage. I like it and uh, it well spread the uh, ship legendary fort ship pretty good <clears throat> that's a solid design as well part of all level six that could be an example uh, it could uh, clearly upgrade is the uh, lighthouse I know it's difficult sometimes you, you need exploration points but uh, when you want to get those battle points, you need to raid some bigger fish level four. So you need a uh, lighthouse uh, at least level three or four. So that would be my suggestion on this one. Um, pirate catcher, maybe level two could be a good idea. Other than that, good job, Peter. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it on this video. So we cover level four, five, two, uh, two base level five, and one base level six. I think you get the idea. Um, some tips. Also, I have uh, this uh, reward for because I upgrade my silo level two. Let's see what's behind that. Uh, later, have this chest. Open it. All right, five items. That's pretty good. Whoa, <laughs> six hundred and fifty battle points. That's good. Two hundred more. I like it. What's that? Silver. Three. Good. And uh, 550 exploration point. That's pretty good. Awesome. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I have some silver here. That's good. So tomorrow, apparently, we, we're going to have the trade ship. So that will be my next video. And, uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I like you guys. Uh, I, I hope... I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want more Plunder Pirate content. So other than that, see you guys next time.